Okay, someone made the iconic map Dust 2 in Black Ops 3 Zombies, so we're gonna try it out. We've spawned in with the Karambit Fade. I mean, pretty fitting for CSGO, I suppose. What we got on the wall? We got an M14. Oh, a part. What? Oh, a shield pie. <laughs> I was so confused. I thought the wall buy was the part. But anyway, looks like we've got some Cold War-esque HUD. I know who created this map because it must be the same person who did the Left 4 Dead one. We'll buy Quick Revive. Look at this knife animation, dude. Oh, it fully like jabs him in the head. Jesus. I like that. That's a, that's a slick animation. Oh, yes, I recognize where we are as well. Is that a dragon head? What? So is it like the Ryzen Drak then? We've got a football. Oh, you can't kick it around. That would have been cool. I've not actually played CSGO 2 yet. I used to play the original like way back in the day with like some friends, but I haven't really touched CSGO since. I mean, I moved to League of Legends, so I can't really say much because League is definitely more toxic than CSGO. I was talking to uh, Astral Spiff about it. And yeah, I mean, like, just the fact that in League, one player can just completely mess up an entire game for you. Yeah, there's not much else you can do about that. In CSGO, it's a bit more like you can carry the uh, the noobs. But yeah, I guess we are just getting the bows. Can't complain, I do love the bows. We've got the grav on the wall. So it looks like we've got Cold War weapons and the Milano. Okay. I'm a guess there's a... What? <laughs> Don't tell me we have, like origin steps and everything. I was going to say, I'm guessing there's a shield part around here. Hello, Vulture Raid. Oh, God, don't die. Oh, of course, the one zombie I know. If it's not a double point at the end of the round, it's a nuke or, or I don't know. It's something. Oh, are you done? No, you're debating me. What is that up there? I see a green thing. Who knows? Oh, okay. Double points. Let me guess. End of the round. Yep. <laughs> like, come on, bro. It's too predictable. I literally said it like 10 seconds ago. So it looks like we've got a door to go down here. Oh, an insta-kill. I mean, not exactly needed, but it's cool starting out with a melee weapon, though. Not many zombies maps allow you to do that. A dragon's done. Let's go. Right. What have we got around here then, huh? This looks surprisingly really good, actually. Oh, the pack a punch. Okay. I mean, we need to find the, the the goddamn power first, but I thought that was it for a second. It's just a little switch on the wall. Where's the next dragon head? Dude, is that a... That's the thing you get for the, uh, the G-Strike grenades on Origins. What on earth is happening? We've got Jug over here, though. Uh, we can go up here or we can go down there. I mean, is this going to be power, maybe? Pretty, please. Oh, we found... <laughs> okay. Whoa, that's a bit of a, of a, of a glitch. <laughs> I can see through the wall. Well, I guess we just get some more kills until we can buy a door. I may actually buy the uh, the mystery box down here. Never mind, there's a door. <laughs> I can't win today, bro. Max ammo. I like the custom like drop aesthetic. It's quite cool. Oh, well, last around. Uh, what have we got over here? A DMR 14. I'm guessing it's better than the M14. It costs like 1700. So screw it. We'll, we'll get the box, I guess. Just so I can get a gun of some kind, like maybe a ray gun or a blunder. Get yeah, first hit. I mean, you know, okay, that's that's. That's an option. Only trouble is the reload is incredibly slow. I mean, we'd have to line them up. Yeah, like that. I guess I'll use the melee weapon still. It's it's a one hit, so can't necessarily complain. Hello, I can just see into the entirety of the map. So we've got Blundergat. We've got Hell... Well, not Hellhounds. The other uh, dragons we've got to fill up. Oh, we've got a drop. Oh, regular death machine. Okay. Not a custom one. I actually... I think the regular death machine is just the better one anyway. Uh, oh, we've got another shield part. The origin shield. Clearly taking a lot of inspiration from origins. What on earth is in here? I have no idea. Another one of these things. How have I still not found the power yet, bro. I mean, I'm guessing I know where it is. It's going to be towards the middle. And we've got some kind of apples in there. I don't, who knows? Dude, you have to be like directly underneath that. I swear that zombie was right there. All right, that's the round. Hopefully that's enough zombies to feed. Is he done? Is he done? Not quite. Damn. Oh, I do like the uh, the spin, the swap weapon animation. That's quite satisfying. Just like in the actual game. I can't believe these knives were like 200 flipping dollars though, bro. I mean, I guess if you play CSGO all the time, it's um slightly warranted, but not really. I mean, a bit of a joke, but anyway, uh, that's done. I'm guessing we can't jump down here. No, we can't. Well, we did open towards here. Let's just go and check if there's any parts or something. A buildable bench. Okay, that's where we build the shield then. Um, double taps over there. I'm gonna have to open the door anyway. I'm kind of stuck now. I'm just scanning for power potentially. Oh no, we're stuck. Ah, okay, it's fine. We'll just get a thousand points, open this door, and who knows what will be over here. Ooh, I like the aesthetic. It's cool. Something behind here? No. Debris here. Oh god, we, it's really cramped over here apparently. Blunder get time, I guess. What is this like blue 
Oh, okay. I'm glowing now. Oh, you come over on this side. I'm stupid. Okay. You just can't go directly through here because of the sandbags. But we've got the next dragon we've got to feed here. Anything in this back corner, perhaps? This would be like the perfect place for a shield part. Oh, this is not going to be easy to train here. Oh my god. This is this is tight. Um, Let's... Ooh. Okay, we're fine. Trying to be as efficient as possible, but we're totally going to go down while doing it. Oh god, don't get stuck on the wall. All right, here we go. Oh, a nuke. Yeah, don't get that. Probably got a couple more zombies left. Somehow the training is working right now. I have no idea how. Okay. All right, dragon is done. That's all three. So what kind of reward are we getting, huh? We've got another one of those uh, G-strike things. No shield parts over here. Oh, I see it. Wait. No, never mind. I'm tripping out. I, th I saw glowing over here. I was like, oh my god, it's the bow. No, it's not. Lamau. Okay, we shall head towards the middle. Nope, we don't have enough points. <laughs> Every time, dude, I'm one zombie away. All right, gimme. What's in here? Stamina up. Cold War perks, which is nice. Okay, some kind of purple thing over there. Oh, the power switch. Okay, well, we know where it is. And totally a shield part around here. Can we parkour? No, we can't. <laughs> I remember I used to like sit up here when I was playing actual CSGO or camp on the other side of here trying to snipe people down there. Got another one of these lightning staff thingies. Hurry your asses up, dude. All right, there we go. Round's done. Do we have enough of a door now? We don't. It's 2,000. All right, fair enough. I'll play the long game. I love how I looped the entire way around the map when logically I knew the power was going to be in the middle. I was just like, huh, I guess we'll just follow this random path. The most expensive one possible, apparently. This is one satisfying melee animation, though, not going to lie. 2,000 points. Here we go. Power on. What? Level too low. Reward level too low. So we've got some kind of challenges we've got to do. We've got whatever this is. Pay a tribute? Huh? Pick up blue orb? It's reminding me of that one map. Um, what's it called? The Iron Dragon? What on earth is happening? Blundergat time. Oh, death machine. That'd be good for points. I mean, I'd say the logical course of action would be to get jug, but... Oh, you can, uh, if you press reload, you inspect the knife. <laughs> Of course you do, dude. Where even was Jug again? I think it was um up this way. Here is Pack-A-Punch. Oh, no, it's not here, right? It's uh, Oh, it's in that corner. Nice. Perfect. Gimme, gimme. We do have a Wonder Fizz right there, so we could spin that, but I don't know if I want the uh, the dead shot 10 times when I go to spin it, so... Because we all know that's what's going to happen. Oh, you still knife with the, the, uh, the Karam bit when you have another gun out. That's actually really good. Well, let's go and see what the hell is up with these orbs. I can't take the bow, which is interesting. We've definitely filled up all the things. I mean, we haven't gone this way, but I'm pretty sure we spawned here, right? I could have opened one door to get back to the power, man. I'm so stupid. Pay a tribute. Blue orb, I guess? We'll do that one then. So I'm assuming we place it in one of those, like, tiny holder things. Oh, we've not gone that way, actually. That's a good point. We've got double tap over here. I mean, sure, let's open this door. What's, what's around it? Oh, this is where we spawned. Ah. Where about was it it was oh part here ah that's the last shield part nice not available so it's not this one what about this over here no this one just doesn't have any symbol i mean we could open this door oh fine i'll do it speed code is down here so yeah this is the final place we haven't been to um what on earth there's some kind of like safe thing there i guess i'll have to google it first things first we're gonna build the zombie shield oh we got a <laughs> nice challenge complete oh there's one in the back corner here place blue orb okay well what what does this do then is it souls probably maybe it's melee kills oh interesting so we have these like blue orbs around the map we have to shoot i guess hello is that gonna is that gonna work no apparently it's a bit buggy so let's just confirm that it's not souls like let's just get a few kills over here yeah no it's definitely not souls and i'll double check it's not melee like no definitely nothing oh some weird marshal on the wall I, I think i'll pass i will initiate a trial though or a tribute anchored down don't move okay um well that's a, a, a fun one huh if only my reload wasn't so ridiculously long but it's fine blunder gets good oh we got reward common reward nice that's so cool they have the whole like bo4 cold war system in yo zombies are we gonna <laughs> are we gonna come anytime soon oh here we go and i'm guessing you're the last one yeah what's up bro knife oh a death machine we've got an epic reward already damn okay all from just standing still hell yeah that was two whole minutes of standing still oh god don't go down um what do we pack a punch though I, we could pack a punch the blunder get we could pack a punch the marble fade i'm gonna do the marble fade man nope never mind you can't pack a punch yet sad i was really hoping you could but okay i mean the sweeper one of my favorite wonder weapons and just completely point blank missing nice oh i see a little blue orb up there oh i shot that one what okay well that one worked you have to shoot them in a certain order maybe um 
Hello? Bro, that one's just not working. Yeah, no, I, I cannot shoot that orb. Try hip fire. Nope. Once more for good luck. Nah, it just, it just ain't working. Oh, and I see the other blue orb up there. Maybe we shoot this one next. We, we definitely got that. So, can we get this one now? Nope. <laughs> Maybe this is just saying that it's like right here. I don't know. Max ammo. Don't mind if I do. By double tap. Oh, I see a little orb in the corner back here. Hello. Q. Any other hidden little orbs around here, maybe? Oh, it says we can place the blue orb down here. No, never mind. It's not working. Um, well, let's pay a tribute. Uh, what's this? Big spender. Spend points after I just spent all my points. Brilliant. <laughs> Good timing, man. Oh, well, it's fine. We can do it. We'll buy this door in a second. It's 2,000 points, though. Jesus. Maybe we go spin the box, get rid of the karambit. Very quickly, though, I'm just going to scan in, like, the obscure areas. Maybe there'll be a hidden orb somewhere around here, maybe? No? Doesn't appear to be. Let's get some knife kills. Damn, I was going to buy speed cola, but we don't quite have enough. I guess Wonder Fizz will have to do. What are we getting? A PhD flopper. I mean, hopefully there's no perk limit. It'd be nice if we had the acid gap, but we don't. Uh, hello? Point blank, man. Blundergat. Do your thing, dude. All right, next Wonder Fizz. You may only carry perks oh why do i do this to myself it's fine it's it's not the end of the world i suppose not exactly ideal oh i just realized we didn't spend anything well it is what it is any updates on the old orb can i pick it up again no still not letting me shoot whatever the hell that is let's do another tribute then melee kills okay i can actually do this one as long as the weapon still one hits yeah it does and we got an insta kill so that's good i mean i'm curious what we could even get as a reward i'm guessing it'll be the way to get more perks but who knows oh a death machine i mean i'll pass for now epic isn't the highest rarity is it i, I could have sworn that legendary was the highest guess we shall see getting a lot of melee kills man but it's no not progressing i think epic might actually be the highest rarity because it's <laughs> not improving at all so like i have gone through almost an entire round of melee kills and i'm not seeing it change so yeah let's just get the reward what is it then epic reward it's a, a gun of some kind i mean screw it i'll take it oh it's pack a punch nice I know, I got rid of the Karambit, sacrilegious, but it is what it is. So I can actually do these, like, lightning staff code things. So this one is, I think, up. Oh, hello? Can I interact with it? It doesn't, it doesn't let me interact with it. This should definitely be facing upwards. I cannot interact with it for the life of me, bro. I mean, they did say in the Steam Workshop that this Easter egg is very temperamental. Oh, hello, every zombie in existence. Jesus Christ. Oh, I do see a little orb over here. Can we even shoot that one? No. <laughs> okay, bro. Oh, there we go. I actually shot it. Can I shoot it now? Man, I've never had such a hatred for blue balls. Oh, shit. That was just... They insta-collapsed on me. What the fuck? I mean, in a way, it's good because I can actually go and get the perks that I want now. They sandwich me, bro. I mean, that's the thing with the long reload as well. Oh, death machine. Yep, that's going to be exactly what we need. Can we shoot the orb? Oh, there we go. I just needed to use something different, I guess, and not die, please. Well, I can actually pick up the orb now. No, I still can't. <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, it is what it is. We can get this jug. Get speed cola, finally. Grab ye old double tap. And I guess we'll get quick revive last. Of course. I mean, I would like to succeed. Right, revive. So, can I pick up the flipping orb now? No? Is it a soul box now? No? I'm considering just going and seeing if we could pick up another one. Also, I guess we'll do another challenge. So, can we pick up the purple one? No, I already have an orb. I have- I've cursed myself. I'm orb- orb taken. Kill zombies while crouched. Uh, okay. Oh god, I don't have crouch bound. I took it off because, um, for whatever reason, my slide wasn't interacting properly. Oh, here we go. If I slide into a crouch, that works. Oh my god! Don't- <laughs> Why? Apparently, when you crouch, um, the hitbox is really bad. Noted. Okay. Bro, I can't win. I can't win. Oh, God. Sometimes the shots will not hit. Oh, and that was the round. Crap. Stamina up. Jug. And I might actually just use this gun, whatever this is, because, um, Blundergat is just kind of trolling me right now, I swear. All right, let's get some more crouch kills. We, we can do this. It's fine. Spawning next to me. I see you. I mean, a death machine would be perfect for this right now. Ooh, double points. But I've got to... Oh, I'm just going to 
Stand up. I've got to get double tap in a second. This is, you know, this is doing a lot better. It's because of the long reload time. Even with speed coder, it was like not doing enough, which is kind of crazy to think about. we got a door behind us. We can totally go in there if we do all four orbs. I just know it. Oh, there we go. Epic reward. Yeah, and it doesn't give any more green progress when you get more kills. So it must be the final one. Oh, <gasps> is that the M1 irons? You know what? Screw the blunder gap. I don't care. I'm taking this and I'm going to go pack a punch it. What is... Oh my god, you can really spam it as well. I I love the M1 irons. It's one of my favorite guns of all time. You can't pack a punch it? Okay, I guess it's just like... Why did I take it then if I can't pack a punch it? I mean, it's a, it's a two shot, I suppose. If I get a double tap, it'll be a one shot. Has the orb like cooled down or some shit? Oh wait, is there one up there? No. Looking outside the map for potential thingies? I don't know. Okay, it's a one shot. Thank God. Get the nuke, honestly. Go for the old drive-by. This gun is so cool. So, just out of curiosity, can we actually interact with this one? No, you can't. Like, <laughs> why game no do work things? This one is definitely not working. Eh, whatever. Screw it, man. What have we got in here? Can we actually interact with anything? Oh, was that an orb up there? No, I'm, I'm seeing things now. Screw it. Would it get speed cola? It's a nice one shot and we've got a fast reload. It's really interesting to see, like, I don't know, just getting guns out of things without being able to pack a punch them, but them already being extremely strong. So like, I don't know. It's just very strange. Not something I'm used to, but like, we cannot put this inside it. Like, go in, dude. It's got a nice golden sort of shine to it. It looks really rusty though, bro. This gun needs, uh, needs a polish. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, we're out of ammo. Crap. <laughs> well, to into the, uh, is it the M14? M16 even? I don't know. I don't remember. Some kind of gun. It's an assault rifle. It's a decent one. I'm gonna let them take my shield because I feel like it's really low health. Oh yeah, you can actually, you can see the health on the bottom left. It's very, very faint. It's definitely the origin shield as well. It even tells it you on the bottom right. Nice. Bang, bang. It's gonna instantly break my shield, lol. Why did I do this? Now it's one HP, whatever. Let's go for a spin of the box. M1 irons is great, but it's out of ammo. The HK, not bad. Don't remember the HK looking like this. Was this a DLC gun on Cold War, maybe? The RPD, I do remember this though. We got the M1 irons back. Maybe we can pack a punch this one. Nope, we can't. Yeah, no, it's just, it's just one of those guns, I guess. Maybe they didn't code in a pack a punch for it, so they just upped the damage ratio, which is nice. Appreciate them not just making it doo-doo, you know, already about to run out of ammo with it though bah, 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 bah. it's the hip fire i think like putting the hand on top of the gun while firing it oh, bah, 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 bah. i don't know what that noise was but i lived okay shit me max ammo doesn't reload the gun tragic but i can spam again Woo! pew 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 pew, pew. all right i'm gonna let them take my shield again Boom. Uh, do we have any more perks we can carry? No. Oh, we got a teddy bear. Well, that's annoying. Pay a tribute. Take no damage from zombies. Well, this is going to be an easy one, considering I'm just running around the map. Oh, the box is right here as well. Hell yeah. Here's where I get stuck in a corner and take damage. Okay, good. What are we getting? The 1911. I mean, if I had PhD, this would be great. It's not often you get it out of the box, though, so I guess we'll go pack a punch it. Mustang and Sally. Ooh, these are some good guns. I like these. I recognize this pack a punch camo. I feel like it's the derived. Eisendrock one? This one looks... Yeah, no, this is the Eisendrock pack camo. Very cool, very cool. Uh, explosive weapons are not really ideal for not taking damage, though. But we can do it, hopefully. No bosses on this map, which is... It's nice, actually, just playing a zombies map and not having to worry about big dudes. Just killing and doing the standard zombie experience. Oh, a nuke. Perfect. All right, box spin again. Swiss K31. I think I'm good, man. Why it- whoa, we got like purple explosion things, what was that? Ah, I took damage. Oh, it's fine, the thing's over. What's the next one gonna be? Big spender, spend points. Okay, well, let's get something out of the box and we'll just pack a punch it immediately. No matter what it is, I'll keep the Mustang and Sally's. Oh, the Otis, all right, maybe I'll pack it- oh, I'll go one more spin. I'm just not a big fan of the Otis. Okay, never mind, I love the Otis, it's the best gun in existence. <laughs> Uh, typical. I mean, it's actually not too bad with double tap, you know. It's it's killing. Let's uh, let's quickly pack a punch this. Clear out some uh, some of the zombies. Oh god, hello! Just coming out of nowhere. Give me the gun. The Pinofita Perforator. What a name. Jesus. That's a mouthful and a half. Any blue orbs just out of the map, perhaps? I'm absolutely obsessed with these stupid blue orbs, dude. There's got to be something. Oh my god. How many zombies are on a map at one time? Is this really 25? Jesus, that's a lot. 
pew pew, I guess. Uh, oh, we got a fire sale. I think the Blundergat is the only wonder weapon in the box, but I mean, we could maybe get another look-see. The Type 63, uh, it's a one-shot. Wait, it's actually a one-shot, what the hell? Just one-tapping zombies. Got an insta-kill. Don't even need it with this gun, apparently. Hey, screw it. I'm gonna pack a punch this. <laughs> this is one of the best guns I've got out of the box in a long time, actually. The Helvetica. What a name. And obviously, it's gonna be a one-shot. Oh, it's a full auto? This this is godly. Do you have to stand at a certain angle for this or something? No. <laughs> Just work! Can I shoot the apples? No. They might not even be apples. I don't know what they are. Potatoes, perhaps? Or walnuts? I mean, who knows? There's a death machine. Don't mind if I do. Camping right at the back here. This takes me back to the CSGO days, actually. Waiting for them to come to you when you're, like, the last person alive. Planting down the bomb over here and just uh, hoping for the best. And obviously, I would die every single time because I sucked. There isn't any... Yeah, this is where the bomb site would normally be, but there's no way to, like, get to it. All right, just go and make some more challenges, I suppose. 2,000, get headshots. Ah, nice and easy. Rare reward. So yeah, it just goes rare epic, but epic is the best. Which I kind of like that, actually. Saves a bit of time, unless I just go through the other ones really fast. Nope, that, that definitely was an upgrade. So what did we get? What is that? The Keck 9000? The Keck W? What? I mean, don't mind if I do, but... Can't say I've ever heard of it. Oh, double points. Not at the end of the round, too. Nice. Fire sale, okay. Oh god, don't kill me. I guess you have to earn the common reward, so in a way, it makes up for the fact you don't get, like, the epic or the legendary or whatever. I haven't seen the ray gun in the box yet, but we got the M16. Okay. Definitely a very, very, very good gun. Oh, so is the Krig, though. I remember using the, uh, what's it called? Oh god, no, the Krig sucks. Never mind. The Farah, okay, pretty similar to the Krig, which is also very similar to the Grav. They're like three similar Galils almost. I do really like the Cold War weapons. I think I actually prefer them to the BO3 weapons, but I definitely prefer like BO2 weapons to all of them. Something about the BO2 guns is just so iconic for me. All right, I'm just gonna grab this nuke, screw it. The stoner, I mean, sure, I'll take an LMG. This was one of the better guns in Cold War. Uh, I'm gonna go and get a reward, just in case, or a trial even, just in case. Okay, it wasn't the, um, it's the don't move one, of course. Let me at least go and pack a punch first, dude. I can't go this video without saying Rush B. I mean, I just have to say it. It's just a staple of CSGO, you know. I was definitely a Rush Beer, although I prefer to just play it slow, but then again, I would always die. So yeah, honestly, just play like a maniac. There's no point in you uh, playing it tactically, if, if you're me anyway, because I just suck. Oh, there we go. Got the last reward already. The M1 irons. Nice. Well, I mean, I'm not getting rid of his Helvetica, so... Maybe we just say screw it. I don't want it, man. Can I knife to get rid of it? Okay, it's finally disappeared. Jesus, that took time. Yeah, the stoner is OP. <laughs> it's just beaming them right now. It would have been cool if they implemented the, like, weapon rarity system, but at the same time, you can't do everything. I still want someone to make a really good Cold War mod for BO3. Like, I'm so surprised there isn't one. There's a really scuffed one that came out, like, four years ago or three years ago or something, but it no longer gets updates because they lost access to their files, which is a damn shame, to say the least. We've got a max ammo. Uh, what's the next trial? Headshots, easy peasy. Oh, okay, we just got every drop. Oops. Insta-kill is actually not good for this one because, uh, obviously, you know, one stray shot just hits a zombie, it kills them, but... Okay, headshots. Modern Warfare Deadshot would be really nice for this, actually. Haven't gotten any perks from the, uh, the reward system yet, so, so far, it's still a four-perk map, which is, uh, interesting, to say the least. Can't say I'm the biggest fan of that aspect, but maybe I'm just getting really unlucky. That's definitely a possibility. Hey, right, there we go. Literally one zombie kill. That's all I needed. What is this gonna give me? The M1 irons again, dude. It just, it really wants to give me the M1 irons, apparently. Which, you know, it's a good gun, but can't get rid of it, bro. God, this is getting a bit sketch over here. Ooh, I could do with opening that door, but I'm liking the, the training... Okay, we're fine. <laughs> Jesus. Can't get a bit close there, I think. Why am I even doing this with the M1 irons? If I switch to this gun, just look at the absolute annihilation. Anchored down, don't move. Well, that's easy. Especially if we pick up this. And I just AFK. Nice. Holy moly, it's round 28. I didn't even realize we, we've been going for that long. Have I been recording almost an hour? Jesus. 
Oh, I just realized I'm moving. Why am I doing this? I don't know. <laughs> Screw it. We'll camp here with the Swiss. Why not? Just a random corner somewhere. Oh, God. They're spawning at my feet. This isn't exactly ideal. It's fine because this gun is still a one shot, bro. It's so good. Absolutely obliterate. This is better than like a ray gun. This is better than like the blunder get. Why would I ever get rid of this thing? Oh, hello. Did death machine spawning on me. Nice. Make it easy, why don't you? Oh, there's so many drops and I can't go and move to get them. Of course, dude. Oh, fine. Move out of the way. Give me the max. And go back to the corner. Hey, there we go. Epic reward. Oh my god, you can run and sprint with the death machine. <laughs> Let me guess. M1 irons? Oh, no, it's not. It's that Keck gun again. Well, I mean, I'll take it because it's a pack a punched gun. But boom. Is that round 30? Not quite. Hey, there we go. Round 30. Not bad. So I hope you've all enjoyed. If you have, please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out this video on screen. YouTube says you might like it. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.